Today I am going to be giving you guys five misconceptions that practically the whole world has about China. Hi guys, welcome back again to my channel. If you're new here, hi, you're welcome. My name is Gloria and I am a Nigerian living here in China. I live here with my husband, my daughter, and we film about our lives as, you know, black people living in this country of Asia. By the way, if you can hear any background sounds, that's just my daughter. Let's try to ignore it, okay? Having lived in China for about three years now, I believe I have the authority to speak on matters like this because I myself have experienced China and Chinese people and I know that there are a lot of misconceptions that people have about China. Some of these misconceptions, I used to have them myself before I came to China. However, I am going to be debunking all those myths and letting you guys know what the fact is from the myth, okay? Before I begin, I would like to to implore you guys to subscribe to my channel if you are new here this is the place to be okay I promise you you are going to enjoy my content here on this channel and if you are already a subscriber if you are a regular on this channel thank you so much you are family okay make sure to give this video a thumbs up for the algorithm so that YouTube can push it to wider audiences help us grow this family that said let's get right into the video the number one misconception that people have about China is that China is a place for just business okay without a doubt we all know that um, China is like a mass producer and exporter of you know goods household items machinery and so on and so forth so this has made a lot of people to think that oh China is just this place where you go to buy goods and do business okay now I I made a video some months ago talking about you know why I decided to start a family in China that video was actually birthed from the numerous questions I had been getting from people concerning oh why did you decide to start a family in China isn't China the place you just go to do business and buy things and yeah if, you, if you're interested I'm going to link that video up here so that you can go and get enlightened on the matter actually a lot of people think that china is just this place where you go to buy goods but china is fastly becoming this place where you can actually live and study and you know raise a family and just do stuff right um there are tons of international students studying here in china tons of you know families who are thriving here in china so china is not actually just a place for you to do business it's a place that you can move to if you're looking for things like security you know better opportunities and just a better life for yourself basically you can actually move to china to achieve those dreams second misconception that i feel like a lot of people have about china and this is a funny one is that most chinese people are short okay I feel like everybody everybody just thinks Chinese people are short and I also used to think the same thing I'm not gonna lie until I came to China and I realized that this is a myth it's false you guys it is false there is no truth in this statement whatsoever Chinese people are not predominantly short I think maybe in the past like some generations before maybe they used to be predominantly short but now you guys Chinese people are actually very tall I don't know what it is they've done to tweak their genes but now they are like they have a lot of tall Chinese people okay when I came to China I was thinking you know for my 1.56 that I am <laughs> I was thinking oh I'll be among the tall people or maybe average people in China you guys I'm I'm still short okay I'm short in Nigeria I'm short in China in fact there was this lady I encountered on the subway one day and she's just like a giant and I'm just like whoa are you are you Chinese as well but then I know that this is a misconception that a lot of us have honestly speaking there are still a large number of them that are you know not tall but I don't think it is it is something that you will use to you know address them or something that you used to say is their feature if you guys get what I mean just the same way there are tall people short people average people in Nigeria or in Africa or in the rest of the world that's the same way it's in China okay Pre Chinese people are not predominantly short. The third misconception that I feel like a lot of people have about China, this has also come to me as questions, you know, as someone living in China from my people from back at home. For some weird reason, a lot of people feel like Chinese people eat 
a lot of disgusting things such as frogs and snakes and rats and I'm not saying they don't okay I believe that there are a very few number of you know Chinese people who still eat some of these things however it's not like it's their main dish it's not like it's their main meal people call me on the phone and they're like oh so what are you guys eating today did you guys eat frog or did you eat snake or did you eat and I'm just like no no I ate food I ate rice and beans and and yam and potatoes and we we eat normal food okay the the vast majority of chinese people actually eat normal food okay the people who eat these kind of things are, are very few and maybe they're just even in the villages and you you rarely find people eating all these disgusting things in the cities okay so definitely get it out of your mind that chinese people or people in china eat rubbish i know some of these videos on tiktok and douyin has made us feel like yo chinese people they eat because you see some of them just make videos where they are eating a lot of things even raw meat and and just things are not nice okay most of them just do it for the gram like not for the gram obviously but most of them just do it for the camera okay it's not like it's what they eat on a regular it's not like it's it's their normal food they just do it to get likes and views and all of that they just do it for attention basically so that's that about that the next misconception I feel like a lot of people have about China is one that is a little bit sensitive you know I feel like a lot of people especially people from the West my people from America and all of that they feel like China is just this prison right and you know you can't really do what you want to do you can't really you know you can't really survive it, it, they have an impression that China is just a place that you know just choke you and stifle you and you know you cannot really do what you want to do while there is a level of truth to that statement i feel like it's not as bad as western media projects it to be china as a communist state does have its um um how will i put it i'm looking for i'm looking for a, a, a good word you guys because i don't want them to come and carry me in my house but i know you guys understand what i mean while there is a level of you know order and and you know they just try to keep the the society as orderly as possible so for people from the west who are just used to you know freedom at its peak they just tend to see it as um as there is not enough freedom but i feel like it's really just them trying to you know keep the society orderly and you know keep people in line keep people in check make sure that you don't do like people don't do things to break the law and just to preserve the law and order in their society they just really want to make sure that you know everyone can lead a peaceful life without anybody else just doing something to encroach on the next person's peace of mind i hope that makes sense the final misconception which is the fifth misconception we're talking about today that a lot of people have about this great country of China is that for some reason people think Chinese language sounds like this I don't even know I know I'm saying rubbish and I sound weird but for some reason that's what people think chinese language sound like you guys you have been watching too many ancient chinese movies honestly speaking chinese language do not sound how people who are outside of china think it sounds this is what's going to happen i'm going to say some phrases in chinese language you guys will understand what i'm trying to say you guys i just spoke some phrases in chinese and i'm just trying to say that the way you guys think chinese language sounds really isn't how it sounds i've seen some skits on the internet of people just trying to mimic chinese people and they're always doing ridiculous things such as ni koni honi shan ni kani koni like <laughs> it's just so ridiculous i even watched the video of the little girl who was claiming to be praising god in chinese language and she's like i go to china and i call you the chong wing chong wing chong like i'm just i'm like oh my god child child no 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 that's not chinese <laughs> that's not chinese okay and 
I feel like, okay, I think the reason why this is so is because people have just watched a lot of ancient Chinese movies where they sort of put this kind of emotions to how they talk and you know, just things like that. But it's not like that now, okay? Currently in China, people just talk normally. They don't draw their words. They don't, they don't make it sound the way you guys make it sound, okay? Because sometimes people call me from back home and they're like, speak Chinese for us and I'm just like, okay. Ni hao, ni, ni, ni jin jian zi me yang, ni chi fan la ma And you're like, okay, when are you starting, when are you starting? I'm like, I, I just spoke Chinese with you, or to you And you're like, are you sure? I, I did not hear Wen shi wen shi You guys, that is a misconception And you have it right there that Chinese language actually sounds normal Not like what a lot of you think it sounds like but anyways, those were the five misconceptions I wanted to bring to you guys today just to help you understand this country better if you're outside of China and if you've had these misconceptions in the past. Honestly, debunk this myth. Everything that I just said here are myths, okay, you guys, debunk them. That is not the current China. China is fast developing. In fact, China is developing every day and some things that used to be applicable in the past, you know, might not be applicable now. So if you like content like this, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. We do film about our lives as black people in China, our experiences, and this is just a fun place to be. This channel is a fun place to be. Thank you so much to all my returning subscribers for all your love and all your support. If you want to see a video about five misconceptions that Chinese people have about Nigerians or about Africa I think that's a better one Then comment below tell me yes you want to see that video and I'm going to make it for you If you are in China comment down below if there are other things that you thought about China that proved to be false when you got here And yeah, if you're outside China tell me if there are any other misconceptions that you guys think about China and I am going to let you guys know if it is true or if it is false okay. thank you guys so much once again for watching and do not forget that you look so much better with a smile so smile bye guys today i am going to be giving you guys five misconceptions that practically the whole world mama Hmm. If you enjoyed watching this video, please leave me a concept. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube knows that you enjoyed watching and they can promote it to ah! Mama. Can you keep it quiet? Thank you. Mwah. If you enjoyed watching this video, please make sure to leave me a thumbs up. Oh.